Okay, this is Citizens Eye today at the Belgrave Health and Wellbeing event. I've got with me Councillor Manjula Sood. Morning, Councillor. Good morning. How do you think the day's going so far? Brilliant, and it's a fantastic event. And uh, this has become now almost an annual event because you can see all the services are under one roof and there are stalls giving information to local people how they can look after their uh, health and well-being. Because uh, Belgrave roadside, people suffer with health inequalities. It's a big issue. And now, not only health services, other information as well, you know, how they can keep fit and plus how they can access to the services. And uh, they are all in different languages as well, so people can talk to others and you can see there's dancing going on, sports going on, even the emergency services, they are all here. And Cosington Park is very nicely used by the local community. And uh, Belgrave Road is a unique community and I'm very proud to serve this community as a councillor. And we had a ward committee meetings and then they come and they give the briefing what they're doing. You can see we've got Sure Start, Belgrave Library, which is now I'm very proud that City Council has agreed it's open seven days a week. So people can access to knowledge, there are homework classes going on and then in the sports centre. I mean everybody obviously can't uh, access to proper sport but physical activity is very important especially now 2012 Olympics coming and this will be a legacy to people for to sign up to 3 times 30. Great and it's really good to see different locations being used today. So where is it being held exactly? It is being held in uh, the Shore Start uh, Sports Centre, Library and in Cosington Park there is some fun games for the children, they can go on that and uh, inside uh, there is a salsa dancing like going on, people can join in and this was said is a good way of 3 times 30 pledge for people to have activity and uh, in the library there is a lot of information Be and uh, further even it goes up to a Belgian neighborhood centre as well because there are a lot of physical activities, classes that take place there and elderly they have their activities there because it's a real beacon for community cohesion to have these sort of events. Yeah. It doesn't cost much but at the same time it brings communities together and it's a good social networking and uh, I'm very proud as I said this community is a great community and it's a most diverse communities in the city, Latimer Ward and Belgrave. And uh, then uh, as councillors, I mean, they came to the ward community meeting and we have given some funding as well to host this event because resources are required, you know. But it's not a big resource. Within a small budget, you can have put a, such a world class, I will say, yeah. an event. Do you think it's important that that happens now, that you get a lot for very little money nowadays and a way forward is for people to work together? Yes, it is very, very important. I said this is a, like this big society. These are the people, they're part of big society already because they're working together as communities. And but for, especially with this event, they find out more how they can take control of their lives. I mean, inside they're checking blood pressure, cholesterol, everything free of charge. And there is information on mental health, which is another important event. And we have got city wardens, there's a stall of city wardens. I mean, Loris is there, I can name each and every stall, if you can see, and they're providing a very vital information for the local community. And I said, when people, they come, and it is open up to four o'clock, so people can just walk. There's no pressure that they have to do this thing, but they can come and join in. So, and it is a fun at the same time. The lighter side of it as well, and plus... Uh, Absolutely, there's lots for children to do today, isn't there? Oh, yes, there? there is. And it is very, very important for, I think, every community they should host the, uh, hold these sort of uh, events, you know. And are there any particular areas of health that are of concern in, in your area? Yes, CVD. Uh, I mean, statistically, they said the young deaths among men is the highest. So that's cardiovascular? Well, cardiovascular yeah. disease, yeah. and this is the highest in the, around this area. And uh, health inequalities, less to face is the health inequalities. And this is why in the, now we got going to have a new election yeah. and whoever is elected uh, uh, elected mayor that can person has to look into that health, how we can improve the health of the city and now we are very proud that Leicester University with the British Heart Foundation they are building a 12 million pound project which is going to have a genetic research into health I know you know with the CVD we need good exercise good diet so all the information is being provided here 
and this will be on top of that genetic research to see how we can patients can be treated genetically for heart condition and asthma is quite high around this area not only here even abelian you go that and there's just all about us asthma giving information how they can look after and then the school but we have got wonderful local schools around here as well i mean schools have got outstanding reports so you can see that uh, whatever the communities they are taking control of their lives councilor saud thank you very much today thank you